In your browser, navigate to https colon slash slash geos.epd.georgia.gov slash ga slash geos slash public. Click the Create a New Account link on the login page. Now enter your general information. Any field marked with a red star is required and has to be filled in before you may continue. If fields are missing, the system will return a validation error. Once you've filled in your information, click the Next button. Note that GEOS will generate a username based on your first initial and last name, but you have the option to set your own username. If the system indicates the email address is already in use, you have already created an account, and you should log in using the username and password provided to you via email. If you need to, you can always click Back to Login and then click Forgot Username or Password. Click Next. Select the Responsible Official Radio button from the account list, then choose the appropriate account type or types. Click Next. Now you will need to provide answers to a few security questions. These questions will be used later to submit applications and retrieve lost passwords. Please note that your answers are case sensitive. Once you have answered all of the questions, click Next. To finalize account creation, you'll need to fill in a CAPTCHA and give proof of your identity. There are two options for identity proofing your RO status, E-Verify and ESA. Now, if you're creating an account only for stormwater construction, you'll also be able to choose opt-out. But by 2020, going through the complete verification process will be mandatory and opt-out will no longer be an option. The Proceed with ESA option requires you to print, sign, and mail in a form and you can't use GEOS until EPD approves you. This could take several days, so it's recommended that you attempt to e-verify first. Click the Proceed with e-verify option button. Fill in the fields, but be aware that you only have three tries to confirm your identity using e-verify. So after entering your information, take a second to double check that everything is correct. E-verify requires you to use your legal name and also that you enter your home address, zip, and phone number. If you enter a business address and phone number, eVerify will fail. Also note that your date of birth is required in the format two-digit month, two-digit day, four-digit year. If you make any mistakes, contact the GEOS Help Desk at 404-656-5261 before you make your last attempt at eVerify. If your identity cannot be verified using eVerify, then you will need to use the Proceed with ESA option. Click Cancel, and then click Proceed with ESA option. Your account will be created, but you will be required to print, sign, and mail in a subscriber agreement. If eVerify was successful, you'll see this congratulations note, and you can click OK. Next, click Back to Login, and it will take you back to the home screen. Now, check your email account that you used to create your GEOS account to get your login credentials. An email will be sent to you from govonline at govonlinesaas.com with a username and temporary password. If you don't receive an email, make sure to check your spam folder or junk mail. If you can't find the email from govonline there, please contact your IT department. Log in here using the username and temporary password that was emailed to you. Once you log back in, you'll be required to create a password and a PIN number and confirm each. Passwords have to be a minimum of eight characters long, and they have to include at least one uppercase and lowercase letter and at least one digit number. Your PIN number has to be at least four digits. After clicking Save, you will receive another email notification confirming your new password. Be aware that the email does not contain the PIN number, so be sure to record this PIN number somewhere else. Go to geos.epd.georgia.gov slash ga slash geos slash public and log in using your username and password.